Once again, the Blue Jays cannot find a way to sweep a team. And question marks are going to start flying for Alec Manoa. As he struggles, especially in the first inning. And the Blue Jays lose the finale 8-1 to the Tampa Bay Rays. We talked about it in yesterday's video, the pitching matchups, a battle of the aces, really. Or the battle of the opening day starters, probably. And Alec Manoa and Shane McClanahan. It was very clear whose stuff was better today. And for Alec Manoa, it's not like he was getting hit around. Sure, there was a double here, and yes, the home run to Bethancourt to knock him out of the game was big. Of course they were. But you could tell in the very first inning that he wasn't right. First batter of the game, Yandy Diaz. First pitch of the game, plunks him. Then he walks Brandon Lau. Then Harold Ramirez hits an RBI, or not an RBI single, but he hits a single to load the bases with nobody out. Then he walks Wander Franco to score the first run of the ball game. And that is not the way you want to start it if you're Alec Manoa. They have one hit, yet they already have a run in and the bases are loaded with nobody out. Disastrous start. Then you think you got him, right? You get Luke Rayleigh to strike out. You get Taylor Walls to strike out. You might get out of this with a one nothing deficit. But then, Josh Lowe hits a bloop single, scoring two. And it made it 3 nothing. Now, I don't want to say that I thought the game was over at that point when you're down 3 nothing to the race. Because I wanted to be positive about it. But knowing what is on the other mound in Shane McClanahan... I was a little weary about it. And it looked like the Blue Jays early on might have him on the ropes. George Springer walks to lead off the ball game. Bo Bichette singles. Then Vladi singles, scoring scoring George Springer. And you still have nobody out in 2-1. But then he settled in. And he gets the next three guys. And it was smooth sailing from there. Shane McClanahan's final line today, I think he only won six innings, I believe. He allowed four hits, half of those in the first inning. Two walks, one of those in the first. So bottom line, for the remaining five innings, he went five innings of two-hit ball and one walk. <clears throat> he was outstanding. The Jays' offense couldn't get anything going against them, and that's what I was worried about a little bit. And the inconsistencies of Alec Manoa were there. There was not a single inning in his, hold up, four and two thirds. He can't hit the five inning mark again. It's so weird. This is the third time this year that he has not gone through five innings of work. Last year, it never happened. Maybe once. And the reason I took the jersey down is not because I don't trust the guy, but I want to try and change the fortunes a bit, right? I put the jersey on, maybe good things will happen. Who knows? If it doesn't work... Then Vladdy comes back on, he, he gets hang up in the closet, and the Bautista All-Star game jersey comes back out again, and we try something new. But for Alec Manoa, that's it. It's the walks. Now, he did get he did give up nine hits in the game, right? He did allow some balls hit to the wall. Like, the stuff wasn't there, but the consistent problem has been the walks. Let's go through his outings, shall we? All right. So, I was today against Tampa, four walks. Detroit, five walks. KC, four walks. That's not good. And yeah, St. Louis, albeit he only went three and a third, but he had nine hits and he walked two guys in that outing. In three and a third. I don't know what the issue is. Is it up here? Or is it mechanical? Because he's not finding the strike zone. And when you're giving good teams like the Tampa Bay Rays the bases loaded and nobody out to start the game, you're asking for trouble. It looked like he was going to get out of that inning with a one nothing deficit, and I would have been baffled. But it didn't happen. And the question marks are going to start to build. Because this is now three of his four starts where he hasn't been very good. 
I love Alec. You guys know it. I've worn his jersey. I've talked to the guy before on, on, on IG Live. Phenomenal dude. However, three and a third against the Cardinals. Nine hits, five runs, two home runs allowed, walked two, struck out three. Not very good. And yeah, seven innings of one hit ball against the Kansas City Royals. Still walked four guys in the ball game. Detroit, we all, I mean, there was obviously the home opener. Wasn't very good. Set, uh, four and a third, four hits. Only four hits allowed, but three runs he allowed a home run, walked five. And I believe two of those walks came in to score. I could be no, I could be wrong with that. And then today against Tampa, nine hits, seven runs, all earned. A lot of home run and walked four. He wasn't very good. Now people could sit here and say, well, he was good until that one inning. Yeah, sure. Hey, if Alejandro Kirk's throw is half a second earlier, they take the guy out at second, we could be talking about it a little bit differently. But it wasn't. And was it the next batter or two batters later? He gives him a three-run shot to Bethancourt. So, and the walks were still there. All right, enough about Alec Manoa, though. I wanted to I wanted to do a thing on it. I, I'm trying not to be worried about him because obviously I'm a big fan of the guy. So I don't want to be worried too much. But uh, the walk total is very high to start the season. And he has he's gone five innings once. And it was against the Kansas City Royals. So, the question marks are definitely there. However, positive thing the Jays do win the series. Offensively, they didn't get anything going against Shane McClanahan. So, if we go to the offense, uh, Bo Bichette went two for four. Of, co- of course, what else is new? Vladdy went one for three with an RBI, and he walked once as well. Whit Merrifield went two for four. That's about it. Six hits total for the Blue Jays, seven strikeouts, and they walked four times total. Just not a very pretty one. That three-run first inning scared the hell out of me because I knew McClanahan was on the other side. I was hoping in that first inning where the Jays were buzzing, they had three straight guys reach, that you would figure something out. That didn't happen, and McClanahan settled in. Manoa really didn't, and you lose 8-1. Great thing about baseball, you move on to the next one. You do win the series, so take that positive. And the Jays hit the road now to take on the Houston Astros in Houston. Gonna be tough. Game one goes tomorrow night at 8 10. Kevin Gosman versus Christian Javier. Game two is going to be Chris Bassett versus Jose Urquidy. That is on uh, that is 8 p.m. on Tuesday night. But let's be honest, most Leaf fans aren't gonna be watching that too much, like myself. And then the finale on Wednesday, uh, assuming Jose Barrios is ready to go. He'll be getting that start for the Blue Jays and is not listed right now for the Houston Astros, at least on the score app. So that's what we got going on right now. And I'm going to wrap it up there because look, let's be honest. The story of this game is Alec Manoa. You can talk about the offense here, the offense that, let's be honest. But before the what, fifth inning, you're down 8-1? Sixth inning, maybe you're, no, I think it was fifth inning because he didn't get through five. So fifth inning, you're down 8-1 before you can get to the plate in the fifth. That's tough. It was 3-1 going into the fifth. You had a chance. Two runs, eight. You get McLean out of the game, you never know. But 8-1? No, it's over. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game today, because if you did, you're probably a Rays fan. Didn't know they existed too much. Uh, but they're out there, I guess. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game, what you like, what you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays. The Twitter and Instagram links are down below, so follow up there if you guys have not done so already. The Discord and TikTok links are down in the description as well, so follow up there if you guys have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys, Leafs Edition, very shortly. I'll be recording it right after this, and it'll probably be already uploaded by the time you guys see this one anyways. Leafs Lightning Round 1 Preview. Oh, God. I'm so scared, but here we go. I'm talking to you guys very soon, Leafs edition. And as for the Blue Jays, they're back in action tomorrow night, 8-10 first pitch in Houston, taking on the Astros. Kevin Gosman gets a start for the Blue Jays. Christian Javier gets the ball for the Astros. All right, in game one of the three-gamer, three game, three I'm assuming it's a three-game set. It's against a non-division opponent, so I'm guessing it's a three-gamer. Let me just confirm that before we... Yeah, then they, then they go to the Bronx. They have an off day Thursday, and then in the Bronx on the weekend. So, here we go. One game at a time. Tomorrow, 8 p.m., Javier um, Gosman, 8-10. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not this game today at all. Talk to you guys then.